Welcome to Bitcoin News today on the 7th of December 2018. Now we have seen a breakout of this pattern that I mentioned yesterday however the breakout has gone to the downside um, and um, what could happen sometimes is once you see a flag like this um, it can it does normally indicate a reversal when you get a big dip down let me just draw on what I am talking about when you get a pattern that's like this a big dip down and then instead of going upwards like that you actually see a pattern that goes downwards then that normally then results in an uptrend however what can happen sometimes is sometimes you do get a dip down then a bit of uh, volatility before the price goes upwards and what we have seen is this dip down and then a uh, increase upwards let's zoom in on the one hour chart this just happened at 7 p.m. this evening and we got a buy indicator here on the parabolic SAR uh, which is a great indicator that I like to use on normally the two hour chart but this has come in so far on the one hour chart so a very short term opportunity to buy at the moment and also the money flow index indicator here indicated the green at the bottom I'm on the one hour chart at the moment let's switch to the two hour chart which normally is more reliable and yes we are getting the buy indicator on the two hour chart and these uh, green indicators on the money flow index on the one hour chart as well we did get a green indicator uh, we haven't yet got the indicator to buy on the one day chart so this is looking at the moment like a short term trading opportunity so far but we do have to wait and see we've dipped below this triangle uh, or the falling wedge that I mentioned and we've gone up so far tested that point will it continue to rise we do need to wait and see but Bitcoin shorts are at a very high level right now and here on the weekly view we can see that there has been a big increase in Bitcoin shorts ever since the 12th of November and they are pretty much at an all-time high I think that is an all-time high at the moment so a short squeeze could be incoming that could help to raise the Bitcoin price so definitely keep an eye on that there's some good news that's come out at the moment 27 minutes ago the US uh, have announced that there could be some legislation introduced that could help to protect people against cryptocurrency price manipulation so hopefully they're going to put an end to all of the fake news that I've been talking about check out that video in the top right hand corner now if you missed that to find out how uh, the media is manipulating people into selling their crypto off too cheap uh, also the SEC have impose some cease and desist orders against a crypto fund manager called coin alpha advisors they've been offering this fund without ever being registered with the SEC and uh, it's just a small fund 608,000 uh, US dollars and basically they've not been complying with the US law so that company has effectively been shut down which is good news for consumers because when you're buying something like that you know, want to make sure that it is definitely legitimate Coinbase has revealed that they are adding 31 altcoins or they're certainly considering it including XRP uh, and uh, here is the list it's got loads and loads of coins so great news if you are interested in buying those coins not so useful if you want to short sell them uh, because Coinbase only supports buying of coins and by the way if you do want to get $10 free bonus from Coinbase click the link in the video description and that way you're helping me to keep these videos ad free because I hate Google uh, YouTube ads as much as you do um, Bitcoin price watch hope for a Bitcoin ETF is starting to vanish according to this report uh, more basically fear uncertainty and doubt regarding the Bitcoin ETF which really I don't think is absolutely needed anyway because there are already things that people can trade such as there is the G um, BTC instrument the Bitcoin investment trust that already um, tracks the price of Bitcoin so if people don't want to buy Bitcoin they could buy that and there's also Bitcoin futures so both of these are different instruments that people can use to invest in Bitcoin 
Uh, this one doesn't match the price absolutely uh, the same, so there is a slight difference in that one, but uh, otherwise Coinbase is pretty easy to invest in, uh, as you probably know. On to Bloomberg, more negative uh, sentiment really on this article. People are really um, struggling with the Bitcoin price at the moment, with it being so low. Uh, a lot of people are worried that it is going to drop to $1,500, uh, which I don't really think is very likely. I would say $3,000 uh, should be the pretty bottom price. I don't think it's going to drop below that, but in the long term, I do definitely think that the Bitcoin price will increase. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be making all of these videos. And by the way, if you do want to get updates, definitely subscribe to my channel. I, d I do make a video about Bitcoin every day or two. Uh, Bitcoin technical analysis, no end in sight, according to this person as well. S what their target is 1,710 doesn't really say who it's according to I don't think other than it's written by Flavio Tosti um, so it's basically his opinion or his technical analysis uh, regarding that so that's on FX Street and that pretty much is it for the news so we just need to keep an eye on this see if it's going to go above this line or potentially uh, well we will see some kind of retracement on this line before it does increase but the money flow index is pointing up on the one hour chart so I'd say for the next few hours we should see this price uh, continue to rise thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I shall see you again soon bye for now